you're enjoying Grace for Today, could you help us by going to our YouTube channel and just subscribing there, hit the bell for notifications, and then head over to Facebook and just like and share uh, the content on our page. That would really help us to plant seeds of faith and hope in people's lives. Today, I wanna talk about faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of God. Uh, verses found in Romans 10, 17. And it's a really, it's a really fundamental truth when it comes to what we set our minds on is super important because what we set our minds on is what shapes us and forms us and from that place that is how we will live and so if you want to have faith and faith simply means that um, gift of God that leads us to trust him okay because faith is about trust in the promise that God makes right and have a belief in what God says if you want to walk with faith and belief in the promise of God, then you can't get that by simply dipping in and out of the word of God. You've got to focus and give your time, your heart and your attention to keep hearing. If you notice this verse doesn't say faith comes, like your ability to trust God for your future, your ability to trust God for your health, your ability to trust God for your provision, you know, doesn't come by, I heard that once. You know, I, I've had that said to me many times as a pastor. One of the, the things that frustrates the life out of me sometimes is actually when, you know, sometimes when I've heard, when I've preached something to myself and somebody will say to me afterwards, yeah, I've heard that before. And I kind of go, that's not the point. Um, if you've heard something before, show me how to play it out in your life. Uh, because being a Christian and sitting under the word of God is not about us simply just gathering as much knowledge as we can. Because actually the word says that knowledge simply puffs you up. But what we want is a heart transformation coming through a revelation of Jesus in the word. And so what happens is we, we have to learn to meditate. And this is something that, that I don't mean sort of sitting cross-legged in the lotus position, humming to yourself. But what I mean is allowing the word of God to go round and round and round in your heart and in your head. Because what happens is this, as you think, if you just take a verse, for example, in Psalm 23, where it says, the Lord is my shepherd. Well, you can sit on that verse for a whole day, a whole week, in fact, just reminding you that the Lord's my shepherd and just talking it through with the Lord and, and thinking about what a shepherd does. He feeds, he protects, he gathers, he keeps safe. And just even thinking and meditating on that one verse, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down. And you kind of go, wow, that talks about rest because he's looking after me. And look, it reminds me as I start to even think about it right now, that he will protect me because the shepherd's job was to protect the sheep. So, you know, I can lie down in the sense of resting because I know that he's looking after me. And I just keep, keep reminding myself of that truth and faith starts to come. Actually, you know, I, I honestly believe that when you are centered around the word and you keep hearing the word of grace, then there is a prosperity that comes into your life that um, you don't find anywhere else. Now don't, don't get itchy around the word prosperity because prosperity um, just doesn't mean money. Prosperity means that the, the, the state of thriving and doing well in every area of your life, in your body, your soul, and in your spirit. And what's interesting is what I have found in my life and what is a truism from the word of God is when you meditate, when you think about the word of God, when you think about the promises of God and faith starts to come, all right, when that starts to, to happen, you, you start to find you pro, you're, you're prospering in your life. You know, many people will knock themselves sideways today, working hard, trying hard, and I'm talking to believers here, I'm not just talking about people in the world, but believers who should know better, knocking themselves every way, you know, to try to walk in the blessing. And, and the Lord says, you know, I'm your shepherd, just rest a while. And what you'll find is the blessing of God overtaking you. Now, as you learn to do that, and what's the interesting thing is if you work really hard for something, you've got to work really hard to keep it. But if you meditate on, on, the, on the, the person of Jesus and you meditate on his goodness, then the prosperity in every bit of your life that the Lord brings in, he will keep it, he will hold it, he will maintain it because he brought it in the first place. That's the difference, that's where rest comes. I want to tell you today that in Romans 10, 17, where it says uh, faith comes by hearing and hearing and the, the word of God, uh, the actual in the original Greek, the word is Christos. So it's faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of Christ. So faith just doesn't come by hearing anything in the word of God. Faith comes by hearing the word of Jesus and his finished work. Now that doesn't mean that you just have to read the gospels. 
you know, for now and forever. Actually, the whole story of the Bible is written about Jesus from the very beginning, Aleph Taf, hidden in Genesis, the whole way through to the end of Revelation. Uh, Jesus is in there. And so actually we ask the Spirit of the Lord to, uh, to reveal Jesus to us in every story and everything that we read. And you'll see uh, that the whole narrative of the, of the whole Bible is about revealing Jesus to you and then meditating on who he is. And so that's my encouragement for you today is keep hearing good grace teaching. Keep hearing the word of Christ and his finished work. You know, I, I would say teaching that is about you and your principles and your hard work and your effort and what you need to do is probably just gonna leave you defeated. But we're believing for favor in your life and that favor comes as you hear about Jesus, you meditate on Jesus, you let your heart be consumed by that and faith will rise, amen? So why don't we start today just by taking communion together. We want to say, Father, thank you for your body broken for us, Lord. Thank you that this bread, Father, tells us that you were you were scourged and beaten and hung on a cross, and you took every sickness and every disease so that I can be well today. And we just say thank you for that. And Father, we thank you for the cup. The cup talks about your blood. Father, how we are cleansed from every sin, past, present, and future. Lord, and we are born again as righteous, totally acceptable to you, all through your work, Lord. Nothing to do with us. So uh, just let me say to you, if you desire to experience good success in your life, if you want to see your, you and your family and your kids prospered, then let me encourage you, that faith to believe against everything else, every circumstance and everything that pushes in, that faith to believe and trust that every word that God spoke over your life is true will come as you keep hearing the word of Christ. So why don't you try that today and uh, just really see what the Lord will do in you. Thanks so much for listening and we'll see you tomorrow for more grace for today.